Okay, so the URL filtering um, is probably the one of the main areas you want to work on. And here we're going to look at how we block by category and how we um, allow and block on individual sites. In the uh, earlier video, we went through all these different rules and you'll see quite often when I double clicked on these links here and it takes them into lists. Now the lists can be seen up here and the system comes with lots of predefined lists. These lists can be added to or duplicated and that's something we will do in this video. So what we can do is start off by looking um, at categories. So we look at our policies and our rule sets. Down here, we are blocking on a block uh, category block list, which is this category, uh, this list here. If we go to lists, it is actually uh, the category block list here. And we edit it using the pencil here. Now in the URL I'm showing at the bottom here, you can go to this website and uh, download a PDF that explains what all of these different categories are because I have to say that when I originally set this up a lot of them didn't make sense um, the category names and why they would be bad but um, actually if you read the video and read the uh, PDF and you can sit down and work out what kind of websites you need to be blocked so in this instance we're going to we're going to edit this And we're going to include, say, let's try uh, social social media. So I'm going to add social media uh, to the list. And we're going to hit save. And just to prove it, we come over here. You can see the two are, are linked together because now it's got social media in there. So if I now go to Facebook... it's going to be blocked. Now we get this page cannot be displayed because of a problem that's inherent with all um, filtering software and that's because it's HTTPS and it's been blocked. It's not able to return the bog standard uh, block page. If I actually went to um, HTTP you'll see you'll get the standard block page. Now this is a bit of a problem and in a, another video, a couple of videos time, we're gonna look at something called SSL scanning, which will get around this. But for the uh, purpose of this demonstration, you can see that we've blocked it. And it's been blocked under the category of social networking. Uh, we can customize this screen, uh, and again, we'll look at that in another video. Now, social networking can mean, well, a whole, whole variety of different um, websites. So if we go to Twitter, okay, we can see Twitter's now being blocked onto social networking. Now, it might be that we want Facebook blocked, but we actually want the rest of the social networking released because it's used for firm-wide purposes. And we can do this by in a couple of different ways. What we could do is we could remove social media from the category block list and then up here higher up we could block just Facebook so that's one way we could do this so we could remove social media and we could uh, so if we save that you'll see we can get now into Facebook eventually what we could do is just block this as an individual website now, this uses wildcard expressions, and it's, it's really important to get this right. Um, so what we can do is we can type just Facebook in here. And what we can do is we can test. So what we'll do is we'll find the page that's been blocked, or the page that we're trying to block. Okay, And we can test that by typing it into there. And you can see that this wouldn't block it. And that's because we need to put some wildcards in. Now if we test it, you'll see that's been blocked. But the way I've done this is wrong. It's not so important or not such a big problem getting this wrong when you're doing a block page. But if you get this wrong when you're doing an unblock page, which I'll show you in a minute, it can have quite uh, big consequences. What we should be doing is at least putting the dot in beforehand and putting the dot afterwards. Because at least in this case, what 
it won't do is block. If we didn't put those dots in, it could block another domain that could have Facebook within that domain. Um, it's not a great example. But for example, if we was booking, uh, blocking something like um, book.com, assuming. So if we was doing that, and we didn't, and we left it with the wild cards either side, then that would also block someone coming along. I'll show you here. So if we did www.book.com, you can see that would be blocked. But actually, a completely different website, say Booker.com, is also blocked. So at the very least, what we should be doing is doing that because at least this way that's blocked but booker.com is not blocked so why are we putting um, uh, dots either side well this means that this will unblock facebook.co.uk facebook.com now again there may be domains where um, the say facebook.com is the genuine Facebook page, but facebook.japan or facebook.eu is actually some kind of phishing site. So, in that instance, you might want to go down to this level. Now, the reason why we're putting the wildcard at the beginning is this will allow us to do HTTP, HTTPS which is always standard to whitelist both and also quite often these kind of sites have subdomains in them as well so it could be uk.facebook so it's just really important to sit down and understand exactly what you are, are trying to do now again for instance if you were um, saying trying to block gmail gmail is a subdomain of google so you wouldn't go and block google.com because that will cause all sorts of problems you need to look into the specific url of, of Gmail. In fact, let's do that. Okay, so I want to block Gmail. The URL, as we can see there, is mail.google.com. So if we blocked Yep, so we've blocked our, our Gmail. However, we've also blocked searching, so no one would be able to search. So what we need to do here is put mail.google.com. Now in that instance, we probably want to put a star there as well. In this instance, now google.com is, is uh, blocked, but the URL here, if I cut and paste it from Gmail, Still not working, why is that not working? Okay, because there is no dot in front of uh, mail, so in this instance, we would want to do that. Or we may decide that actually, we don't want people to go over HTTP, we wanna stop people from doing that, we wanna keep it nice and secure. So we would actually just put the full HTTPS and that would block um, anyone from going to HTTP because it may be company policy to uh, not allow people to go over HTTP. So we kind of need to just be careful and your best friend is this test button. So always test what you're unblocking and always think are you blocking or unblocking something more than what you should be. And the key to that is really always have either a dot or a slash or something between the domain and the star. That would be my rule of thumb. So going back to what we were trying to do, we were trying to just block Facebook. Um, so we can double click on our block list and we're going to go to star.facebook.com slash star. So we're going to, going to put the star because there's a wild card in front of it. Okay that, okay that, and save. Okay so now if I return to my Facebook and uh, we can see that has now been blocked, but no twitter.co.uk. Right, but Twitter, which is social media, is unblocked. Likewise, just to, uh, for completeness, if we go back into here, 
and we um, block social. We'll remove this from Facebook. Okay, so now we can, um, if we go to our website, we will find that Twitter is now blocked. So Twitter's blocked, but uh, because it's all part of social networking, but if we wanted to allow just Twitter, Now, the reason why that has failed still, if we just cut and paste that. Okay, we can go back into our list, uh, look at the Twitter and do a test. And we're gonna see that's failed. That's because Twitter's one of the um, unusual sites that doesn't have a WW in front of it. So having put the dot there is not gonna work. So in that instance, we will do that and that will be fine. And we can see what we can now get into Twitter, but we can't get into Facebook. I'm James Sillett, and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can contact me by any of the means shown below.